down and two. Here's one down the sideline. Pass caught by Des Bryant. They're going to mark him inside the one. And a brilliant catch by number 88. The play, I haven't seen anybody go up and make plays on balls in the air the way that Des Bryant has. Wow. Field of a completed catch. Timeout. It'll be the biggest call of the game. It came on fourth and two. Is it first and goal from inside the one, or is it Green Bay's ball? We'll get the call when we come back. After review, it has been determined that the receiver did not maintain possession of the football during the process of the catch. The ball comes loose, hits the ground, therefore the ruling is an incomplete forward pass. That was Dallas's fourth down. They will lose the ball on a change of possession on the downs. Will be Green Bay's ball first. Ground ball, right side. Cabrera will cut it off. Galarraga covers. He's out. No, oh, he's safe. He is safe. He is safe at first base. It's the base. Are you kidding me? Why is he safe? You see right here. Why is he safe? Oh, oh my Lord. goodness, Jim Joyce. No. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, my goodness. It's Durant. Makes a move, lost the ball, tries to get it. Saves it. Saved inside. Outside Curry. Two. Seven. He saved that ball. Out. Out. Absolutely, he's out. out. Wow. How in the world do you I mean, miss how that? do you miss that? that? Well, let me see where the officials are. I mean, how do you miss that? <laughs> how do you miss that? Give it to the left. The Packers playing at the goal line. As Wilson scrambles to keep it alive. The game's final play is a Wilson lob to the end zone, which is fought for by Tate with Jennings simultaneous. Who has it? Who do they give it to? Touchdown! One guy goes up, touchdown. The other said no time. This play is under review. You can't go to replay to, 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 to determine who caught the ball. So that call has to be made on the field. You see the one guy go up, touchdown, and the other go tied out like it's a pick. How does MD Jennings not get credit for the interception? I have no idea. This is deciding who wins the game on this Back call. Further review. The call on the field stands. Touchdown. Seahawks win in the most bizarre finish you'll ever see. remaining in regulation. And an Akumpo. Checked by Houston. He'll drive. He scores. Officiating. He's out of bounds. Clearly, he stepped out of bounds. We should be going to overtime. Instead, we're going home. Never. Picked he, it up and didn't but he didn't touch it with both hands. Yeah, That's the thing. You think yeah, so, Michael? 55 hits, two to come. Michael, I didn't see two hands on him, Michael. Yeah. But I believe you. You did. But you I believe you. I saw up. one. I saw one. I saw the one hand on him. <laughs> Jay. Grounds one. Pedroia makes the play. Throw home. Two out. Over the third. It gets away. Alan Craig is going to come to the plate. Here's the throw. Middlebrook.
walks at third. And the home plate umpire pointed to the plate. And you can see Jim Joyce saying obstruction. Going to third, so the first man is out. The throw is wide, and now Middlebrooks can't get out of the way. Obstruction is called. Craig, who can't run, go to double over team. Miss the Blue Devils win it from 38. On the way, and it is no good, and the drought is over for Duke. Duke wins a ball game for the first time since 1961. If, if it stands up, let's have a look at it, guys, and see what you think. That kick was above the upright, not reviewable. The officials have left the field. And Indiana comes up three points short. And is Daniel McCutcheon and a ground ball to third, breaking for the plate, the throw, and they got him. No, he called him safe. He called him safe. Unbelievable. Jerry Meals called him safe. The throw beat him by a mile. That him. is incredible. How can you end? He it? called him safe. How can you end? You've the game? got to be kidding me, Jerry Meals. That is really That remarkable. is unbelievable. The throw beat him by a mile. And he's saying that he wasn't tagged? That is unbelievable. Ship number six. Jordan. Open. Chicago with the lead. Timeout, Utah. He gets Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips, and Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. That may have been. Who knows what will unfold? Yeah. Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. The referee can't see that. Ну как куда мяч опускается? Мяч как раз опускался вот на того игрока, которого и определили, что он в офсайде. 17-й номер, это был Скилачи. А потом уже Анри вдоль ворот. А... Quick snap, Breeze, pass is incomplete, no flag for Tommy Lee Lewis. Nikel Roby Coleman delivered a hit, and the two officials talk to each other. Crowd's going crazy as there's no flag right on the Saints' sideline. Well, if Nikel Roby Coleman plays the ball, it's an interception. It's probably going the other way with it. I mean, the ball's on the other side of Roby Coleman, and... But that should have been a penalty. And, you, and John Payton is, is justified. the steal and the dunk. Oh, he missed it! No, that, that, that was a, a That ball went that through was good, yeah. and it came out. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought, wait a minute. You <laughs> was just checking it out. Oh, remember the Manu play in right. New York a few years ago? I mean, this goes through, yeah. That, that was good. Play it too long. And here's the count stepping up, and he drills it, and the pass is caught by Mike Evans and T.J. McDonald on the hit, and Evans is shaken off, and if this is an injury timeout, and you can see they're getting him off, they don't want to call a timeout, otherwise we would have a 10-second runoff. The offense is out of timeout.
We have an injured player on the play, on the play and they are out of timeouts. It requires a 10-second runoff. The game is over. And that's it. A 10 second runoff. What a way for Lovey Smith wow. to have this game end when the Buccaneers, if they had a few more seconds. The 3 2 pitch. Outside ball for Carl Strike 3. Carl Strike 3. I didn't think that Marty Foster was going to ring it up. And he did, much to the chagrin of Ben Zobrist, who is on his way to first. And the fireworks will sound three times in recognition of save number 300 for Joe Nathan. It's to go and a possibility for a play. Dyson and Bird are deep. Taken by Neal. He gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck, that looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. Dyson down the sideline. Dyson's going to go all the way. And there is no flag. Right. Now, is Dyson behind him? That's the question. No. It's a forward pass. This is where he is. This is where he is. But he steps back. That's a forward pass. It's gonna, I'll tell you why it's going to be hard to tell. Davis at the buzzer. No, yes, no. It's waved off. Bernie Fryer says no, it will not count. He was waving immediately. Oh, it was so my close. my goodness. Bernie Fryer says no. Now, he gets it off. He gets it off according to the clock there. The key, the officials on this play go by the buzzer. That that shot was off in plenty of time. I mean, there's time on the clock. There's no question about that. From that standpoint, the replay shows it. Fryer right away waved it off. As the ball was in the air, he was waving it off. Now, that's listen. Listen for the clock. One, two coming. And the slider in there. Strike three. a strike but he didn't move and that's what the Marlins are arguing this is a strike yep. and he gets hit look at that oh you oh, can't do that no. uh, that's, you, they, they have totally got they got to bring here. it back totally have yes. a case. they're gonna it's that new that you couldn't call a strike that they cannot overrule uh -huh. this on replay by saying that he stuck his elbow no, into it no oh. but you can call it that he stuck his arm in purpose and he's out. Faking it to him. To the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Jesse James! I don't know why this has taken so long to review it because clearly Harmon's nowhere close to him unless they're looking at sideline. Are they looking at the football possibly losing control here? Oh, that's what it is, Jim. They don't think he caught it. Oh boy, let's see that again now. That's exactly right. I mean, he's got. Is that Does possession? he maintain control right here? He's got to maintain possession. Does that bobble in his? Oh, guys, that's. Or not? Who knows? After reviewing the play, the receiver in the end zone did not survive the ground. It's oh. an incomplete oh, pass. Oh my goodness! It'll be Pittsburgh's ball. Believe second it. down and ten at the ten-yard line. The game clock is correct. And we'll start on Stafford's throw. Catch made. Touchdown, Lions! It's Golden Tate, and they lead for the first time today. Reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is changed. The runner was, was touched down at the half a yard line. He was short of the goal line. By rule, we would go back to a running clock, and we have a 10 second runoff. So by rule, the game is over. You can't end a game that way. I mean, that's just an unusual way to end a game. Splits the D, drives, and looks like it should have been a goaltend. It should have been a goaltend. No call. That absolutely looked like it should have been a goaltend. 100% was a goal tank.
hits the window. Clearly obvious. a goal tag. Yep. As soon as it hits the window, you can't get Isolated with Zachary Bowman. Blitz coming. They throw it up to Johnson. Into the corner. Touchdown, Calvin Johnson. Unbelievable throw by Hill. And a miraculous catch. Leaping high over Bowman by Calvin Johnson. And the Lions who had one, are they saying, wait a minute. Are now they overruling and saying he did not get it in bounds? The ruling on the field is that the runner did not complete the catch during the process of the catch. It is an incomplete pass. It will be third down Detroit. We talked about this oh boy. with yeah. the officials before the game today. The pro the ground. He has to then maintain possession of the ball through the completion of the entire process. As we look at it here, is this a second act? Is that, we See, talk about control, and now if a receiver lunges for the end zone or shows the second act, is that a second act? Here's the call. After review, the ruling on the field stands. It is an incomplete pass. It will be Detroit's ball, third and ten. On the 25-yard line, and the ball will be placed on the hash mark nearest the Chicago Bears sideline.